Hi, hello, it's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are focusing on the Whale Done stamp set uh, and the Coordinating Punch, which is the Whale Builder Punch, which hopefully you can sort of see. Um, it's tricky to see in this in the in the light um, or with all the lights on. Anyway, we'll have a look at that later and you'll see what I uh, see how that works. I want to start off with just some really simple stamping using this stamp set and all the beautiful um, stamps that go along with it. It's a photopolymer stamp set. So um, you put them onto your clear box and you can see through them. So I'm just going to show you. It comes like this with a little sheet that covers it. And you just pull them off, pop them on your table. I always pop them down first so that you can make sure that they're in the right position. Um, and then you just pick them up with your blocks. So I want to get this one as well. Uh, maybe this one. We'll have a look. We've got quite a lot that we need to use today. So I've got them all on my different blocks. Um, so yes, yeah, so as I say, we're going to start off with some simple stamping, changing the colours slightly this time around. Uh, I want to start with a um, pool party base and then a bright granny apple green front piece, like base, um, layer, and then pool party again on top. So here we had Whisper White base. This is uh, Rich Razzle, no, this is Blackberry Bliss, <laughs> and then pool party. So I've just swapped out the last two, but just wanted to change things up a, a bit for you. Now, we need a mat um, just to put just to put a little bit of um, protective paper down. We're going to stamp using our stamping pierce mat so that it gives us a little bit of softness underneath. When you stamp with rubber stamps, they have the foam already in them, but when you stamp with photopolymer stamps, there's no foam. So you need to sort of add that foam back in this way. Okay, put my crafty glasses on, that might help. I can actually see what I'm doing then. <laughs> Age is a wonderful thing, so they say. Okay, <laughs> so I've got a lot of different colours here, um, but I'm just going to use a few basic colours for the um, for the seaweed that we're going to do, the big, lovely seaweed. So I've got some granny apple that matches with the granny apple cardstock. Pool party also matches. Uh, and then I have some Just Jade that I'm going to throw in to the mix. And um, some Pretty Peacock. Okay, so let's get going. Now the good, things, the good thing is about these um, photopolymer stamps is that you can see through them. And you can decide where you're going to be putting your fronds because you can literally see where the edge of your card is. So I'm just popping them down. And they're sort of watercolour effect, they're not solid. Uh, I am making sure though that I'm going up and down. Do you know what I mean? So that they're not all one height. Pop something in there like that. And then I'm going to just come up a smidgey from there and put another one in there. Okay, then we're going to clean that off and use my scrub and then go in with a different colour. Now I'm going in with a spot of just jade. This is one of our new ink colours, which is just beautiful. There we go. It's a nice sort of green, well, jade colour. <laughs> There we go. Now they're all a bit the same height, so I need to go up a bit. So I'm going to come here and go up. Whoops. <laughs> it does sometimes pick up your card like that. Okay, that's good. And then I'll just add in like a little wavy bit up here, I think, like so. All right. Uh, we haven't got any down here, but I'm going to use the smaller one for that. So there's a there's a smaller piece, this size, which we can use to fill in down here. Add some extra wafty bits in, like so. And then we have a piece that looks like coral. 
So we're just sort of building up a scene really with these different um, stamps. Uh, I'm going to try it in pool party. It might not be dark enough. Might have to come in with a bit of pe pretty peacock, but we'll just see if I can just do some tonal coral. So I don't. Oh, that's better. I don't really want it to show up too much. I just want to have it sort of backgroundy, giving a little bit more background down here. And I might just do a piece here and a piece just coming in here. So on this one, I added this. Uh, pink coral down the bottom with Calypso coral but I wanted to just make it a little bit more subtle this time so there we go that's that and then I'm going to use my um, pretty peacock for my whale I'm going to have my whale in blue I have a blue whale just pop him in there like so hold him a bit longer because he's a big stamp there we go isn't it gorgeous and then we need a few dots of air popping out uh, I'm gonna do that in pool party just a few dots they've got these little dots so that you can have air coming out of his blowhole like that <laughs> and then I have whale done not well done but whale done uh, and I'm going to use that for my sentiment I used thanks a ton on this one, but I want to put whale well done on this one, I think. I want to do this one or am I going to do it on the next one? I might do it on the next one. Let's do thanks. Where's my thanks? Let's do thanks a ton on this one. And I'll do whale well done on the next one. Here we go. Uh, and I'm going to use granny apple green because I want it to kind of match with the colours that we're putting it onto. So a spot of granny apple green just up here there we go thanks a ton pop on a bit of that and then i'm just adding so this is like just really simple stamping so you just stamp 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 um but i want to add a little bit extra so i'm just going to take some of the sheer ribbon um and just tie this tie it in a bow i think out of the way I think on this side. On this side. There we go. I might just, yeah, just need a bit more than that. Let's do this. Sometimes it's easier if you just chop it off, but if I can, I like to do it on the reel just because I don't lose so much ribbon then. That's just me being tight, really. <laughs> there we go. But also it kind of anchors it down somehow. I don't, I don't know why, because it doesn't really anchor anything. But there we go. That's nice. Get a nice big bow out of that. Or little, depending on which size you want. Then we'll just cut that off. Give it a nice bit of a thingy. And then we'll attach that to our base. So we're going to glue that straight down onto our... Uh, granny apple green cardstock Oops. it's coming out this is a new one so it's coming out really fast <laughs> there we go don't really need that much but as it's there we'll use it there we go yeah. I like that position that's held that nicely now you can always adjust this and if you wanted to you could always add a little glue dot underneath just to hold that in place but you can just leave it like that too and then we'll go straight down onto our pool party base now you can put this on a um is that the right way around no, this way. you can put this onto a uh, card that opens you know like a book book fold uh, it doesn't have to be on this particular up, up you know, tent fold, standy up card, as I call it, standy up. Um, I just like the standy up cards because they photograph well. <laughs> so that's purely the reason why I use that. But see, that's nice, isn't it? A difference, slight difference, just by adding a little bit of ribbon. You go from a very 
you know, nice a nice simple stamping card, but quite plain. Just a little bit of ribbon just adds that extra touch. It's pretty, huh? And changing up the colours. Okay, and then the next one we're going to do, I'm going to step it up even further. Okay, so the next card we're going to do introduces some of the gorgeous embellishments and the punch. So we have the beautiful papers that come with the sweet whale done sweet. Uh, we have the punch here that punches out our whale. I'm going to change this and turn it into a builder whale. So rather than a stamped whale, we'll have him um, punched and all of the colours and everything put in with the punch. Uh, we've got some fishes and some seahorses going on and we've got our lovely sprinkle of sequins as well. So we're going to recreate this one using slightly different colours because we can. <laughs> So we have our pretty peacock base. Uh, this time I've gone for a Blackberry Bliss inner, like a uh, base layer. And then again, some of this gorgeous paper with the mushrooms and coral reef. I think of them as mushrooms. Uh, I, mean, I, don't think, I don't know if they are much. I don't think they are. I think they're type of coral, but I call them mushrooms. Uh, and then I've got a scrap piece of uh, pretty peacock and um, Blackberry Bliss. And you can see I've punched a whale out before. So I'm going to do that first and get him ready. So you literally just put the whole cardstock in and punch. And then you get left with some rubbish bits. Okay, so these two bits here are rubbish. But then you get left with these bits. One bit of water, two bits of water, the actual whale. And then this tiny piece here, this is his eye. Okay. Now, obviously, we're not going to use the eye in, in the same colour. So we're going to punch out another whale. This in... Ooh. Oh, I forgot you also get extra bits. So the other bit was too small to... Oh, no, I punched that wrong. OK, we need these bits. Ugh. What happened to his arm? I've lost his arm. There we go. I missed this bit off when I punched it out first time round. This is kind of important. It's his arm. So let's get that bit in. OK, now we've got loads of rubbish. OK, let me sort all this out for us. So you need this bit, which looks a bit sort of weird, long, loopy. But this is this bit down here. So you can have it in different colours. You could put it in white. I'm going to put mine in uh, Rich Razzle... Uh, not Rich Raspberry, I keep wanting to call it Rich Raspberry, it's Blackberry Bliss um, because I want it to be the same as um, the, the backing. Then here's his little eye, so we can have his eye in Blackberry Bliss. There we go. But I want to put his fin. Oh, where did that go now? I punched it out, where's it gone? Oh, I hate it when this happens. You punch something and it disappears. Where's it gone? <laughs> Oh, there it is. It's staring me right in the face. There we go. Always. Always the way, isn't it? So then this is his little fin, OK, which is the same as the other fin at the back there. So we need that in to be the same colour as the rest of his body. And then these bits we can just keep for another whale at another date in a different colour. So we'll keep all of those. I don't think we need the water so much. Get rid of all those. Keep those. OK, so we don't need his eye like that because we're going to go with that eye. And so you literally build him up like this. And as I say, you could do all different kinds of colours, do whatever colours you want. Um, I did. I've got some others to show you that I did. I've got another one to show you that I did that I built as a builder or a couple of, a couple of them to show you. And it just sits just quite quite low down here you can feel you can sort of see when it's in the right place because it matches his body perfectly as it goes round no bits sort of hanging over there we go tiny tiny little dot for his eye now I've been doing his eye up here but according to this his eye is right back down here so it's probably best if we get that right there we go and I find my take the pick tool is the best thing to Pick that up and pop that on, like so. And then his arm or his fin needs to come down here too. So we'll just pop a bit extra there, pop that down there, 
I kind of like to have it a bit, um, just a bit off from the other one, so you can see it's he's got two of them because he has. <laughs> there we go. All right, so that's our whale. We don't need the water. Get rid of that because we're just going to do bubbles like we did on this one. Uh, but you can have the water, you know, spraying and all that kind of stuff. Now we're going to do some stamping now, and we're going to stamp onto our paper. And I wanted to keep it quite subtle uh, because we don't have quite so many colours um, here as we had in this one. This one had quite a lot more colour on it. So I'm going to use my Just Jade and my little seahorse. Love this little seahorse. He is so cute. Look, look, so cute. We'll just kind of put him hanging around. Put him one in there. It's so lovely. <laughs> okay, um, and then we need some shoals of fishes, but I think I want to do them really light. So we're going to put them in pool party. Okay, which is very, which is obviously the same as this paper. So they'll be really pale, really pale. But they'll just be there. Yeah, they're just there. You could make them darker, obviously, if you wanted to. I just sort of want to have them very inconspicuous, but at the same time, you can kind of see that there are fish around, you know? Because mostly it's going to be about the whale. But the fish just add something. Don't you think? I think so. Put another bit in here. Okay. So now we've got our fish in. And our seahorse is in. Next up it's to put our whale in place. But I'm going to put, I'm going to put the layers together first. So that he doesn't um, get squished when I flatten these down. So... I don't know why I grab my base first. Normally I do it the other way around, but it makes no difference. You're okay to do this. We haven't got any ribbon going on at this point, so we're okay. So pop that down nicely. Okay. Then pop our. And these whales you can punch out, so you could actually punch one of these whales out on this paper uh, using your punch. So I love it when they design paper that you can punch with the punches or die cut out with the dies they do quite a lot of that in stamping up great coordination okay so we just need to do whale done so i'll just pop that and do that on here and i'm going to use uh what are we going to use yeah i think we use pretty peacock on this one so pretty peacock whale done just pop that down on here hopefully i'm doing this so you can see yeah oh. looks like it's going up a little bit is that right maybe i've not put it on straight hold on you have to be careful that you're not pulling it any which way when you put it on your block let me just check Do that again it might just be that that's the way it is i can't remember oh, that looks better yeah, I think I just had it crooked, I think. I think it was just me. But <laughs> it's always possible. So, okay, so now I'm literally... And again, you could use... Let me stop doing that, because I always do it by hand. And I know you guys sometimes don't like doing it by hand, so I'm going to get my little trimmer out. You can do it with your with your big trimmer as well. I'm just doing it with my little trimmer, because it takes up less room on my desk. Um, so I'm just going to chop that off about... That's about even. Yeah, about there. Okay, so we've got... Is that even or does it need to come off a bit more? See, this is why I do it by eye, because otherwise you've got to go back in and take a bit off again. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we've got our whale done. And we've got our whale, so we can mount this with dimensionals. And then I'm going to show you how to put the whale on with dimensionals so that every part of him is has got some kind of stability so this one we're just going to do straight like so and then we're going to put our whale like that look isn't he cute oh i need to put some stamping on him <gasps> i haven't finished my stamping hold on i forgot 
first of all he needs his blow holes coming out but secondly he also needs his little bit of patterning on the back so these are actually to do um you know his his um what's the word i'm looking for to do the um burst of bubbles coming out from his you know blowhole or whatever but they also make great patterning on the back of him to make him have a little bit of texture up there and then of course we need to put him in the work out where we're going to put him and do his do this up here as well bit lower like so there we go that'll work all right forgot that otherwise he's not breathing that's not good okay so now I use a combination of big dimensionals and mini dimensionals and I use the combination because uh, I want to make sure that he's good and solid uh, positioning on my card you know me no soggy middles uh, and this tail bit doesn't fit a big dimensional but it fits perfectly a tiny dimensional mini one just in there in his tail bit so that way I know that everything you know it's not going to crease up in the envelope or get squashed or anything it's going to work beautifully so pop him on underneath where he's blowing out like so and there we have it add a few sequins because it needs a little bit more bling you know although we've got the coral the coral's nice but it's always nice to add a little bit oh, if I can get my top off there we go you have to make sure you take your white top off on these glue pens and not your black top um, let's just add a few tiny little sequins down here I don't want masses on this card I think we could just have one there and another one just wafting about up there maybe there we go um, it's just nice to have a little bit of shiny we all like bling <laughs> okay there we go so now I've got to find out where I put them again. Oh yes, down here. We'll have a little bit of... The blue's a bit too bright for me today. For this card, I want to go subtle. So we're going to go subtle with these ones. <clears throat> which is not like me at all. But, um, just for this... Oh, come on. Where are they? Here we go. There's another subtle one. Put that one down there. Lovely. And then got an itty bitty one. They come really tiny. Look at that. We'll do that one up there. No, down there, I think. And then they have these goldy ones, which I think are pool party, or actually, they might be Granny Apple Green. They're just a little bit more vibrant, but they're not as vibrant as the blue. The blue is very vibrant. There we go. Pop that one up there. And when they dry, they dry clear, so you've got no worries about any glue showing. So, there we have our two whale cards. I'll put this one this way. There we go. So, slightly stepped up versions. This one, simple, real simple stamping. This one, same stamping, just added a bit of a ribbon. This one, stamping and punching, and a bit more stamping here. And then this one, using the whale builder punch to punch him out, but, a lot, you know, more stamping too. And aren't they great? They'd be fantastic. I mean, you know, the sequins are a little bit small for small children, but the kids love punches. So these are great to do school projects with, anything to do with the ocean. I mean, kids are doing stuff all over the place these days about the environment. What a brilliant stamp set to have if you're going to do any kind of school project about the world, the environment and whales or, you know, fish or anything like that, uh, coral reefs, etc. So this whole suite, I think, really works on lots of different levels. It's great fun for adults, you know, sending out thanks a ton or, you know, well done to, to your kids or your f friends. Um, but it's also really good for educational stuff and things that you might want to do with your kids um, for their homework and, and things like that. And I think this is one that is definitely something a little bit more a little bit special really in how they've done this whole suite um from the ribbon to the sentiments to the 
sparkly sequins to the builder punch and the papers are just amazing and the stamp set's just brilliant so all the details are below if you want to buy any of these that's great um but really if you wanted to subscribe to my email list um and find out more ideas on how you could use things with the whale uh, and, and with any of the other stuff that we do at stampin up then please do subscribe to my email you can subscribe here on youtube and you'll get notified when i do youtube stuff but if you subscribe on my email you'll also find out about my um online classes my facebook lives my tutorials i give away a tutorial for free for you joining so you know lots of different reasons why joining my email list is a great idea so have a look at that below and i will hopefully see you over on my email list but if not and or even if you do i hope i will see you next time here on youtube and my blog for queenpipcards.com thanks ever so much for watching take care now bye